be answered right here. The Grade 1 Los Alamitos Futurity Live. They're off. Clean and even beginning. Dortmund began well, but firing line on the outside along with Mr. Z. Those two will go no problem fourth through the opening furlong. And bench warrant is the early trailer. Into the first turn, and Mr. Z takes a very narrow lead with firing line keeping pace. Four lengths back. Dortmund gets the ideal setup in third. Then comes bench warrant fourth, about nine lengths off that pair. And no problem just outside of him, less than six furlongs to go. Mr. Z by a head. Firing line up alongside, Dortmund in the clear, a length and a half back third. Then comes no problem fourth with seven to make up, and bench warrant is at the back. They're heading to the half mile pole, Mr. Z with firing line keeping him honest. Dortmund still two behind in third. No problem is inched up just a bit on the inside fourth. Bench warrant trails, they're heading to the three eighth pole, Mr. Z starts to sneak away. Mr. Z opens up a length, firing line now comes right back at him. Dortmund still in hand third. These three are now battling it out as firing line has made his move. And he puts his head in front. Mr. Z, they've been one two the entire journey. Dortmund's got a clear path. He's asked to get after them now. And then no problem. They're heading to the eighth pole. Mr. Z, tenacious. Dortmund on the outside. And firing line is in between them. It's the race we've all been waiting for. Firing line has his nose in front. Mr. Z battles right back. Dortmund still a half length back third. Mr. Z, the experience. Dortmund on the outside with the brilliance. They're coming to the wire with firing line between them. Firing line or Dortmund. Photo finish. A thriller in the futurity. Dortman firing line, and Mr. Z a long way back to bench warrant in fourth. What a race. Three noses on the wire in the grade one $500,000 Los Alamitos Futurity. Simon, this was very, very close. The top three betting prospects here all one, two, and three, but who got to the wire first? I don't know. I just saw a very solemn Simon Callahan walking past our set here as the photo sign is posted. What a thrilling horse race. Mr. Z spent the majority of his run down the backside trying to get out and go sideways. He's on one rein around the turn here. Mm -hmm. Mike Smith doing a great job guiding him around the turn here. And then it was a dogfight from the top of the stretch to the wire. Firing line, very, very game. Dortmund coming on the outside as well under Martin Garcia. And it's a very track record as well. 140 and 4 fifth seconds. 140 and 86 one hundredths. A track record here. And at first glance, it is so close. You can hear the crowd in the background as they saw the slow motion replay. As we take another look, it... I want to say Dortmund does win. Yeah, I think, I mean, one thing we can assess from that, I think firing line was third, right? In, in the it looks in, like it, yeah. In between. Here's the, sh the photo cam, the shutter cam. Yeah, I think it's Dortmund on the outside, according to that shot right there. But it is very, very tight. A game performance from all three horses there. Firing photo line Photo sign is down. Photo sign down. 354 posted on the on, a, on the board. So 354 on the wire. Dortmund does win. Simon. Now, yes, he had some questions here. It was his first try around two turns. It was his first start against grade one company or in grade one company. What do you take from this performance that we have just seen from him? I, I think it shows tremendous heart and tremendous gameness because the, the one thing that he got today, which he hadn't experienced in his previous two races yes he had won but he had won his races by four and seven lengths this horse had never been off the bridle never been in a battle he'd been, let him one run, uh, run once in the morning as you heard Bob Baffert say in the interview so this is the first time that he really had to bear down fill the whip that was a very very good race for all three the top yes. three finishes particularly for him with his lack of experience uh, you know, to propel him into his three-year-old year. The same could be said from firing line as well. A Keeneland sales grad, Dortmund, does win the Grade One Los Alamitos Futurity, a half-million-dollar event here. Earns ten points toward the Kentucky Derby. Correct. Correct. Four Mark. for uh, Mr. Z was second, nope. right? No, four for firing line. line. Oh, Mr. Z was third. Third with ben two points. Warren finishes fourth and gets one point there. But Dortmund, all right, now these questions are going to start coming into play. We're going to be talking about pedigree and distance. We're going to talk about this in just a second. But right now, let's get to Brittany Ertin. Brittany. I am with winning trainer Bob Baffert here. Bob, what was going through your mind in that photo finish? 
Good thing we have a long stretch because we need it here. But it was, it was, I knew it was going to be those three horses. And when he was wide, I thought it's sort of you don't want to be there. But he was, you know, they were going so fast early. So uh, I could see he could have, he had trouble handling the turns. He's so big. But uh, it was, what a horse race. They all ran pretty hard. I mean, I was just so fortunate and lucky that he got the bob. And that's what a great one should be, right? All three horses down at the bob. Well, I, for five horses, those three horses were standouts. I mean, these are horses you're going to hear about down the road, and they all look great in the paddock. And uh, it's great for Los Alamitos and great for Kaleem Shaw. You know, Kaleem's been on a roll lately. You know, wins the Breeders' Cup this. So um, so we're, we're all excited. Well, congratulations again. I'll go let you celebrate. That was pretty impressive. Thank you. Bob Baffert takes the Los Alamitos Futurity with Dortmund. Stays undefeated. Brittany, thank you very much, and Bob having nice things to say about the the other two to the inside as well. I mean, these three horses have the looks of very nice horses, Simon, but now the question is going to come into play as far as pedigree goes, distance limitations. Big Brown on the top, we all know what he did, Kentucky Derby winner. Tail of the cat on the bottom, how does that affect his pedigree as far as going along? Going I, I don't think quarter? it's, I mean, look, a classic racehorse is built on speed and stamina, and, and he has it. He's, he's by Big Brown, that's stamina, Kentucky Derby winner out of a mare by Taylor the Cat. That's the speed influence. So he's got, he looks like a horse that wants to go long. Bob Baffert wins this race for a record seventh time. And like I said, the, the biggest thing here that you can take away from Dortmund is that it was his first true race. First time he had to really come off the bridle and be ridden. He's going to learn something as firing line. They're, they're great, great horse race, great performance from the top three finishes. A track record time as well for the mile and a 16th, 140 and 86 one hundredths, or 140 and 4 fifth seconds, Dortmund, 320, 240, 210. He answered the questions today, he had to fight, he had to earn it, and he did have some trouble on the turns, you heard Bob mention it well, because he's such a big horse, handling the turns is not going to be easy for him, or it wasn't easy for him today, but he's able to overcome that, yeah. overcome that as well. Especially this first turn, it's a lot tighter, yeah. this is a hairpin track, you could see him not handling The track record doesn't bother me as much, they've been dropping track records here, left, right and center at this meet, um, so that, I'm, I'm not too concerned about that, it's, it's what I see visually in the performance. And the fire line, too. I mean, look, it's it's not... I mean, yes, it's all about the winner, but as Bob mentioned, these are three nice horses, and I, I like the top two because they had the least experience coming in, and uh, they learned what a horse race was today, and that's going to bode well for them as they go into their sophomore year. Congratulations to the connections. Kaleem Shah, Bob Baffert, Martin Garcia, the son of Big Brown out of the tail of the cat mare, our Josefina, wins the grade one Los Alamitos, $500,000 Los Alamitos to be charity. Dortmund, the winner, 320. We'll take another look at those prices in just a little bit. Right now, back to the studio to Gino Bacola.